Hey everybody, welcome back to this week's episode of the Real Wassa's Real Estate Podcast. My name is Cody Holscher here, team member at the Solomon Group Coldwell Banker Action. And in today's podcast, we are going to be going over the fall market update. So we're going to be talking about what the market is going to look like from September moving into late November, maybe around Thanksgiving or so, um, and and how it differs from the summer market and maybe some of the similarities between the summer market. So without further ado, let's get started. The first thing I want us to uh, take a look at is what the numbers are like in terms of sales here this summer right now. So as we speak, I just pulled the data up a few hours ago, there are 253 homes on the market that are for sale with a median listing price of $270,000. Now looking at those 253 homes, below $300,000, you're going to find 147 of those that are on the market. So out of those 147, only 44 of those are available on the market that are not under contract. Now, going above $300,000, there's 106 homes that are listed for sale and only 41 that are available and not under contract. So overall, the theme of this summer, which is essentially what we expected, was that it was going to be very, very competitive and very high buyer demand. Um, And typically, we do see the most amount of inventory in the summer, um, which we did see, but things have been very competitive. Most homes, if they're priced right, um, especially under that $300,000 price point, have been very competitive with multiple offers and selling over asking. Above the $300,000 price point, those homes have still been selling relatively quick and going, you know, some of them going over ask, some of them under ask, but it still has been a good market for sellers at basically any price point. So moving into this fall, what do we expect? What are some of the differences that we can expect and what are going to be some of the similarities? So I would expect that in September, um, as we round out the warmer part of the year, that things are going to remain pretty competitive yet. Um, I would expect that because people are um, getting back into the routine, um, right? Kids are going to school, etc. I don't think you're going to see the amount of inventory coming up on a daily and weekly basis that you did during the summer months, but I still think you're going to see a decent amount coming on the market. I also think that you're going to continue to see strong buyer demand for the rest of the month as there are still a lot of people looking and a lot of people trying to get into a home. The real change happens, I think, once we get into early October, the leaves fall off, the weather starts to cool off, and dare I say that once we get into October that we might even see a flurry or two, who knows, hopefully not till November, but it's never a given here in Wisconsin. So I think that once we hit early October, it seems like um, the amount of inventory that comes on the market really starts to shrink down. I think that's because generally people just don't want to have to deal with moving when the weather is colder. A lot of the people that sell during the summer sell because the weather is nicer. They sell because they don't have to worry about ice and snow and mud and all that stuff when they move out of their house or move into their new house. So I think that that's one of the biggest reasons that you'll see inventory start to shrink. And on top of that, right, as I mentioned earlier, Kids are back to school. People are into the routines of of life and school and whatever they have going on. So that will definitely affect the amount of homes that are available for you to look at as a buyer. You know, if you're looking for a certain type of home, um, like a three-bedroom, one-bathroom home, up to $180,000, there's probably quite a few of those that have come on the market on the daily and weekly basis over the past few months. You won't see that quite as much during the next few months you only may see a few of those a week pop up that match what you're looking for. So on the flip side of that, you know, as a seller, what can you expect? So I've said that there's less inventory, right? Maybe a few less buyers. Well, if you're looking to sell your home during these fall months, it's still a good time to sell because, you know, there's not as many homes coming on the market on a daily and weekly basis 
which actually helps you and your home compete well against the other homes that are listed. And sure, you may not have quite the large um, base of people looking for your home that you will see during the summer, but you're still going to have a lot of buyers looking and a lot of buyers writing offers, which means that you'll probably end up getting a good price and a good um, buyer into your home. The only tale of caution here would be if you're listing a higher end home. If you're listing at the 400,000, the 300,000, anywhere in between or above that, those homes do tend to sit for a little bit longer during the fall months and especially the winter months. Um, now, of course, there's exceptions to every rule, but I would say that if you're listing a home at that upper price point, do expect that it may take a little bit longer to sell versus the summer months and just be open to doing some of the things to your home to make it more marketable, um, right? Obviously, we try our very best to get your home sold and get it for top dollar. That's our ultimate goal. But if we provide some feedback and we suggest maybe a price reduction to get more buyers through, definitely be open to that. If some of the feedback that buyers are leaving is that, you know, you know maybe one of the, you know, the rooms is a really just bad color, uh, be open to painting it and making it more of an appealing color to buyers. Um, and it's not to say that you will have to do these things. A lot of homes do still sell without anything being done to them. But my point is, is that if you're at the upper price point, the competition is going to be less. The amount of buyers looking at this price point during this time of the year is going to be less. So just be open to doing some of the things that are suggested to make your home more sellable and make it more marketable. So to summarize everything I talked about, basically as we move into the fall, expect that the inventory is going to be quite a bit less than what it was during the summer months, especially as we get into October. However, on the buying end, it's still going to be competitive. There's still lots of people looking for homes. So if you're buying, um, do realize that you are gonna probably have to compete against other buyers. But on the good side, it's probably not going to be the buyer and offer frenzy that we see during the summer when the market is saturated with the highest amount of buyers. So that's going to do it for today's podcast on the fall market update. Uh, we hope that you guys will tune in here in a few months for the winter market update, and we will catch you guys in the next podcast.